Hi guys, this is Mara No James, and I am back. All right, guys, tea time with Mara in full effect. Same old, same old. Like I said, I had two bags left, guys. Okay. Mm, yep, two more bags of the puka. The puka love. Went ahead and tossed the box out. Uh, it was two left. I didn't see the point of keeping the box, you know. So left it at that. All right, guys. Uh, today. We're going to do something a little interesting. And once in a while, I figured we may have, like, uh, what, I, what I like to call, you know, uh, my spill. You know, just have a little spill. Um, my little rant, some may say. And uh, all while sipping on my tea. Tea time with Mara, you know. Um, so, I know I have an interesting photo as my background right now. And uh, it says, we'll work for Bitcoin. And I thought it was funny. I thought it was cute. But it's gonna go along with the topic for today, all right? It's about these beggars online, on Facebook particularly, all right? And now, I'm not talking about just any particular beggars, okay? I'm talking about the ones who clearly understand what Bitcoin is, what any of these, you know, altcoin is, and they, they, they put up a post and they're asking for a specific amount because for whatever reason they need it, okay? And I'm, I'm gonna give you guys a couple of examples that maybe I'm bugging, but I ignore them and then when they come in my inbox, I get really annoyed by that because it's like, listen, I don't, I'm not giving you any money for free, okay? At some point, if you remember when Bitcoin was like at 18,000, um, people, I seen a lot of a, a lot of folks asking for for a whole Bitcoin. They literally would say, "I need a whole Bitcoin. It's an emergency." There was this one individual who put a picture of, of an old lady, right, and was saying that this was his mother and she was very ill, and he needs one Bitcoin in order to take care of her, right? And my thing is, beggars can't be choosers. Now, it could it, it could have been his mother. It could have been a real photo of his mother. But guess what? You get what we give. If if, if most of us decide to really feed into to, to the story that you're giving us, whether it was true or not, and we say, you know what? Let me go ahead and just send you $20, $50. You're going to tell me that that's not going to be enough for you? That you're not going to be satisfied with that? That you need a whole Bitcoin? And, and the post was so specific that he literally said, if you don't have a whole Bitcoin, I could take half of a Bitcoin from everyone. So he's saying from, from, from each of us, right? If we don't have a whole Bitcoin, we can give you half of it. So looking in these groups where there's thousands of members in each one of these groups, can you imagine if even a hundred of us from each one of the groups that he posted this photo and this plea for Bitcoin, and we went ahead and sent him these Bitcoin. Can you imagine how much money he would have? And I don't like that. I don't like I, I don't like those kind of beggars. If you haven't noticed already, guys, I'm from New York. Okay? I don't know if I told you guys before. I'm from New York. I'm from Brooklyn. Um, I rode the train, I rode the buses, the cabs. I was out there in the streets. So I've seen the homeless people. And I've seen the performers. And I've seen the ones where it looks like you just make this as a living. Okay? And those I call beggars. Beggars are the ones that make it a living asking others instead of them going out and getting their own. So there's a difference. There is definitely a difference. There's a there's the beggars. Then there are some legit homeless people that really need your help. Then they have the ones on the corner that are, that are into drugs, alcohol, whatever it is. But they, you know, and they need us to, to support their habit, which I don't do. Okay. And then we have the performers. Performers are the one that I am happily able to go into my purse and give them some money. These are the ones where when you're waiting for your train or you're waiting for your bus, and they're doing something. I mean, they're either singing, 
They either dancing. They, I mean, I, I've seen the break dancers. I've seen the group with like four or five guys and they flipping on each other. And, and, and then they have the one with the, with the guitar and then they have the little instrument. They playing horribly, but their voice is really nice, you know, and they singing and they got a flute. They got the steel band. I mean, they, they're performing their asses off. And yeah, they got a cup right next to them or a bowl or whatever it is. I will happily drop what I have in my purse. Any loose change, any loose dollars, five, ten, I'll drop it in there. You know, you want to know why? Because they working for this. They are literally working for that dollar that they are asking me for. Okay? They're not walking around just handing me a note in order for me to read like 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 some of these beggars don't even say anything anymore from my understanding because i haven't been in new york in a while but but from what i heard that these beggars don't even say anything anymore they they hand you a note you have to read it and it's, it's a sad story about them being a single mother or having to take care of a, a silk uh, uh i'm not silk, but a but a sick parent or a sick child or whatever it is and they need and they, and they need our help in order to do that i'm like wait 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 you can't even speak to me now you can't even say something would you want me to read and then and they go in my purse and just hand you something I, I, I mean people just gotten lazier and even begging they even got lazier and, and the internet became that that funnel where you could sit at your computer now i mean you don't even have to go outside no more see in new york they were they, they were at the train stations they were at the bus stops they were out and about. They were um, um, these beggars are now. Beggars are even lazy, so lazy they can set their computer, type up a story, and they hope that people will just start sending them bitcoins or whatever it is because of, because for whatever reason. Another good example is when they tell you their location. I am. And, and, and nothing against the Africans or nothing against the Philippines or you know nothing against these folks but they mentioned their location as if that's supposed to make me feel even sorry or even more sorry for you because of your location yes I live in the USA but guess what we have hard times as well we have people here that deal with things as well your location it should not defy what you make out of your life. Yes, there are there are some third world countries that that have it a lot harder than than other countries do, and and and, and I definitely understand that. I I really really do. But if you, I feel like if you have the time to continuously keep posting, keep posting, keep posting, and continuously keep begging, keep begging, keep begging, and you obviously have some type of internet connection. A Wi-Fi connection, whatever it is you're using, then you could take that same energy and time and go find a job, or take that same energy and time and whatever money you're able to scrap up doing what you need to do and invest or save or whatever it is. But it's much easier to just type something and just beg online. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I have start seeing less of the begging on the Facebook groups, but they're more in my inbox now. So if I decide to promote a company or I'm, I, you, you, I'm telling some people to message me, they message you, right? And, and this is why I get pissed off. I, I'm, this is why I get pissed off. Let me tell you why. Most of my posts, guys, I am very specific, okay? I may not mention the company's name because of promoting reasons, or legal reasons or whatever it is. But I'm very specific on what the minimum investment is. Or I might just tell you that there is an investment. Or I might just say it is not free. But I am very specific on my posts, okay? Then I get the folks that go info, 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 info. So I take my time, I message these folks. They seem very interested in whatever I'm talking about. Then they say, but I don't have any money. Okay, so why, why did you ask for the info? 
did you not read my post or did you just happen to see someone post something and you just message that individual and this and this and this is where i go with the whole begging thing because some of them don't even read your post they just see your new post oh let me go message this message this person this individual let me go message. so that means you spending hours or i don't know maybe 30 minutes messaging everybody in that group you don't care what the post says right and then after they, after they spend their time explaining things to you, whether the cop plan, whether whether it's about the company themselves, about the CEO, whatever it is, and then you hit them with the "I don't have no money. Can you send me some Bitcoin? Or can you pay for me?" That is annoying. That is really annoying, and that is just ridiculous. You, as an adult, now you act like a. Like to me, it seemed like it seemed like you still in a childish phase in your life where you have to beg for stuff. Ooh, mommy, can I have a lollipop? Ooh, mommy, can I? Oh, can I go outside? Oh, can I have? Can I have? How old are you? And most of y'all on here are adults. What are you doing? I have this other folk here, man. Let me tell you. Other gentlemen. That says, I want to learn how to trade. So I hit him with, I know a place where you can go. This is the fee, one time fee. Once a week, they train you, they teaching you. I mean, class is awesome. The, the, the professor's awesome. Great guy. He know what he's talking about. But there is a fee. Because no one time is worth free. Do you really think somebody's going to take the time out of their day, whether it's once a week, three times a week, train you how to trade, and they're not going to be compensated for that? As if, like, the light bills are free. As if as if I'm eating air. As if, like, as if, like the individual don't have bills to pay. As if the, 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 the individual don't want to close themselves. Why would they spend their free time or, or, or a time teaching you stuff for free what are they gonna get out of that? It's the same thing with, 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 with most of these companies. They're gonna charge you. What are they gonna get out of not charging anybody? How's anybody gonna eat? How's anybody gonna pay their bills? You're sitting here looking for free stuff and then you can't find it. So, it's, hey, I'm gonna start begging. I'm gonna beg everybody. And the same individual, time and time again, every single month, I swear, he hits me up in my inbox and asks me, where can you learn how to trade for free? In my mind, I'm saying by this time, if you were serious about trading, you would either pay to, 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 to learn or start trading yourself. A lot of people learn, learn on their own. Because, hey, if you really don't have the money, then start learning on your own. There are a lot of ways to learn, whether you YouTube it, okay? Whether you start asking folks, whatever it is, but you're holding yourself back by not doing either or you have options but what you want somebody to do is spend hours every day training you or teach you how to trade for what and did i be compensated for it that's ridiculous nobody works for free when you go to work today i'm pretty sure you want to get paid for them hours that you put in you want to get paid and if you look at that check and it's short even 30 minutes somebody gonna be pissed off you're gonna want to see something you know what i'm saying so Stop with the begging. It's 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 really it's, it's it's a new year. Most of you guys know what the cryptocurrency world is about. Most of you guys know what most of your coins are. And if you don't, I understand. It's a lot to learn, and you can definitely find someone that can either teach you or or you can learn on your own. And I understand the internet is a jungle, and it's it's crazy to even go through there and stuff like that. But I don't mind teaching folks i don't mind going through certain things with folks and stuff like that but don't hit me with the but can you pay for me or don't hit me with the i don't have the money what am i wasting my if you don't have no money then you don't need to be in these groups because this bitcoin stuff is not free all these altcoins are not free what are you doing there just looking around and watching other folks make money and then the ones that you see making money, those are the ones that you hit up. Because you're like, oh, he has money. Let me go ahead and hit that person up and give them a sob story. You know? 
That's 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 what it, that's what that's what this is exactly what you're doing with the sob stories. And then then we have the ones where they come in your inbox, they ask you for the money, you say no. They ask you why. Why? I don't have to explain myself. I should ask you why you begging, but I ain't gonna do that. I just say no. No is a full sentence. No explanation needed after that. And like I said, begging is a childish behavior. Now, if you want me to explain things to you like you're a child, I can go there with you, but I don't want to go back and forth with a child. Because even with my own children, I say no, and that's just that. So I'm not going to do that with an adult and be like, no, but then I got to explain to you why not. What? No. That's all. And plus, I know myself, I can get real nasty. So to avoid getting nasty with the folks, I just say no. Don't ask me why. And yeah, I block these folks too. I do block them. Because before, I didn't block them. And then a month, a month, two months go by, and then they, they, they come back about and back again and ask me, now do I have money to give them? How come you don't have no money now? I, I, I don't understand. What do you do for a living? And then some of them even have jobs. And, 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 that, and that's what bothered me because before I used to ask questions like, do you not work? Do you not have a job? They said, yeah, but the child don't pay them enough, whatever it is. Hey, that's life. I know a lot of folks that have corporate jobs, okay? That been a job is at the same time for 10 years. They don't get paid enough, but they're not begging. They're not out here begging. They're not. They make it do what it do, baby. They make it do what it do. You got twenty dollars, you do what you need to do with that. It's it, 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 it twenty dollars. It's funny because I had someone time and time again come in my inbox, keep asking me, do do I now have something for him in order for him to invest in? I said, well, I still have the same platforms. He said, well, I still have only twenty dollars. You tell me all these months went by, you still only have $20? And then want me to cover the other... No. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. And just so you guys won't think I'm just like selfish or mean, I have paid for individuals on certain platforms. I have. And not because they asked me to. It's because I genuinely can see when someone really wants to invest. Like, for example, there was there was one individual who went ahead and did invest, right? But bought the wrong package. Okay, did not understand the difference between one package and the next. I said, so I said, well, you know, I felt like that, that was kind of my fault. And I, and I apologize for that. I should have been more specific on which package to go for. Okay, so guess who paid for the rip for, for the right package? So now they got two packages, but guess what? I went ahead and just paid for the other one because the other one did, did they weren't going to earn a daily um, return on that. So I went ahead and paid for the one that they will get the daily return on that. So it was just one of those, hey, Merry Christmas gift. You know, I've had other folks that want to go ahead and get in, pay, but was having trouble with either the wallet or whatever it is. But guess what? They sent me the money through PayPal, Cash App. I accept the money and I went ahead and paid for them ahead of time. Okay? I went ahead and did that. Then I have some folks where they want me to just send them money through PayPal. And then they'll say and then they'll pay me. Whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, whatever it is, because they don't want to wait the seven days or whatever because lately Bitcoin been taking days just for you to get payout. So I've had folks do that. Sure, no problem. Have I paid pay for folks and not get anything in return? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And I haven't been wrong about these individuals at all. I've even paid for folks with certain ICOs. They want to join ICO, but at the time it just happened to not have the money. But I'm like, you know what? This person been following me for X amount of time. This person actually invested in other platforms that I've invested in. If they're telling me right now they don't happen to have the money but they want to get in, why not? 
I'll go ahead and invest for you in that platform because uh, technically I'm gonna get commission for it anyway. So I'm getting, my, I'm getting, I'm, I'm really technically get, getting my money back, one way or another. I'm getting my money back. And like I said, that individual already invested in other platforms that I introduced. So he's been following me, this, this, you know, this entire time. So those are different scenarios where I do invest for individuals. And I don't mind doing that. But if you come straight out the gate and you just straight up want some money, the answer gonna be no. And don't ask me why either. Don't do it, okay? Get blocked. It don't make no damn sense. It don't make no, no damn sense. And I feel like if you online begging like that, that means you don't exhaust all your begging, begging capability throughout your family and friends. They're tired of you begging. They're tired. Because now you online asking strangers. You online asking a whole bunch of strangers for money now. So that means you don't went through parents, siblings, best friends, friends, neighbors. You don't went through all them folks, huh? That's how I feel. Or maybe you didn't go through all the folks, but you feel like it's much easier to just disguise who you are online, start begging, begging for money, and nobody gonna know. Maybe that's the other scenario. Maybe that's why you do it that way too. I don't know. But guys, comment below what you think about these beggars. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the little bell button right next to the word subscribe. All right? Email me, Donna0104 at yahoo.com, and let me know what you think. I mean, am I bugging or has it just seriously just begin out of control with all these beggars? Because I'm, I'm, I'm frankly just tired of it. If you don't have no money, get out of these Bitcoin groups because everybody here trying to make money. Everybody here want to invest and stop asking for some free money. Stop asking for free Bitcoins, free this and free that. They don't exist. It don't matter. Links are in my description in order for you to join some landing platforms as well, guys. And also, there is one company, like I mentioned earlier, where you can learn how to trade. If you are interested in learning how to trade and it's not free, hit me up. I'm going to send you a link. You go ahead and pay and start learning how to trade on your own. I think it's a good deal. And it's definitely for the future a good um, investment because now you're learning you're, you're trading on your own and you are in control of your profits you're in control of how much you're making that day if you make five percent or even twelve percent shoot maybe even twenty percent based on a trade that you did you in control of that as opposed to joining pl um, the platforms where they only giving you what one percent back or even two percent three percent but you know that you could probably make more or do more and one percent is great don't get me wrong one percent is awesome it's absolutely great actually that that, that that lets me know that's that's pretty legit but if you're looking for more than the one percent it's time for you to learn how to trade yourself it's time for you to take matters into your own hand and do it yourself so make sure you message me email me for that link and like i said it's not free guys it is not free and stop begging you folks cut it out Grow up. Talk to you later. Bye bye.